Over 5 billion people take to the skies each year, making air travel one of the most powerful ways to connect people across the globe in just hours. Not long ago, journeys that once required weeks or even months were transformed into single-day trips, all thanks to the incredible advancements in aviation. In the past 200 years, aviation has become one of humanity's greatest achievements, revolutionizing how we explore, trade and connect. While countless aircraft have soared through the skies, a select few have truly shaped the industry and redefined our understanding of flight. Without these pioneering planes, modern aviation wouldn't be what it is today. With that in mind, here are 10 aircraft that changed the course of aviation history. Wright Flyer The Wright brothers ushered in the aerial age with the first successful flights of a powered, heavier-than-air aircraft. Their creation, the Wright Flyer, was the result of an extensive four-year research and development effort led by Wilbur and Orville Wright, beginning in 1899. After perfecting their design through three full-scale gliders, they made history on December 17, 1903, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Orville piloted the first flight, lasting 12 seconds and covering 120 feet, while Wilbur later flew the farthest, 852 feet in 59 seconds. The Wrights also revolutionized aeronautical engineering by introducing key principles such as wind tunnel experimentation and flight testing. Their groundbreaking achievement extended beyond the first powered flight, laying the essential groundwork for modern aviation. Spirit of St. Louis Many today take for granted the ease of flying from New York to London, but in the early 20th century such a journey was nearly impossible, and crossing the Atlantic meant days at sea aboard a ship. That all changed when Charles Lindbergh made history with the first solo non-stop transatlantic flight, proving long-distance air travel was not just a dream, but a reality. Piloting the Spirit of St. Louis, a custom-built, single-engine, high-wing monoplane, Lindbergh took off from Roosevelt Airfield in Garden City, New York. After an exhausting 33 hours and 30 minutes in the air, he touched down at Aeroport Le Bourget in Paris, having covered approximately 3,600 miles. His aircraft was designed for endurance, featuring the reliable Wright J5 Whirlwind radial engine and an impressive fuel capacity of 450 gallons stored across five tanks. This carefully engineered setup gave Lindbergh the range he needed to complete his daring non-stop journey, which forever changed the future of aviation. Douglas DC-3 First taking to the skies in 1935, the Douglas DC-3 revolutionized air travel, becoming the most successful airliner of its era and the first to operate profitably without government support. With over 13,000 built, including both civilian and military versions across multiple countries, the DC-3 proved so reliable that many are still flying today. An evolution of the 14-seat DC-2, this larger 21-seat aircraft set new standards for comfort and safety. Its robust all-metal construction and strong multi-spar wing made it one of the safest planes of its time. Airlines favored the DC-3 for its reliability and cost-effectiveness, while pilots appreciated its stability, ease of handling, and impressive single-engine performance. More than just an airliner, the DC-3 helped shape the future of commercial aviation. Messerschmitt Mi-262 Born from a 1938 design by the Messerschmitt Company, the Mi-262 Schwalbe became the world's first operational turbojet aircraft, changing the face of aerial warfare. When it first flew under jet power on July 18, 1942, it far outpaced conventional propeller-driven fighters, earning its nickname Schwalbe. With a top speed exceeding the P-51 Mustang by 120 miles per hour, the Mi-262 briefly gave the struggling German Luftwaffe a technological edge late in World War II. However, despite its advanced design, 
the Mi-262 arrived too late and in too few numbers to alter the course of the war. Of the 1,443 produced, only about 300 ever saw combat. Many were lost in training accidents or destroyed by relentless Allied bombing raids. Additionally, Allied air superiority and new tactical adaptations neutralized the Mi-262's advantages. Though its impact on the war was limited, the Schwalbe laid the groundwork for the jet age, influencing military aviation for decades to come. Bell X-1 The Bell X-1 shattered aviation barriers as the first piloted aircraft to break the sound barrier. On October 14, 1947, over Maroc Air Base in the Mojave Desert, USAF Captain Charles Chuck Yeager rocketed into history, pushing the X-1 past Mach 1 and proving that supersonic flight was possible. Many believed an aircraft would break apart upon reaching the sound barrier, but the X-1's innovative design, modeled after a 50 caliber bullet with razor-thin wings and an adjustable horizontal stabilizer, made it ideal for high-speed flight. Three X-1S were built, but the most famous was Glamorous Glennis, named after Yeager's wife. Launched from a Boeing B-29 at 23,000 feet, the rocket-powered aircraft climbed to its test altitude before making history. It ultimately completed 78 flights, and on March 26, 1948, Yeager pushed it even further, reaching a speed of Mach 1.45 at 71,900 feet, setting new records for both speed and altitude. The Bell X-1 paved the way for the supersonic aircraft, proving that the sky was no longer the limit. Boeing 707 the Boeing 707 was an iconic American long-range, narrow-body airliner. It was the first commercial jetliner developed and produced by Boeing. Derived from the Boeing 367-80 prototype, which first flew in 1954, the 707-120 made its debut flight on December 20, 1957. While it wasn't the first commercial jetliner, the 707 was the first to achieve widespread success and is often credited with launching the jet age. During the 1960s, the 707 dominated passenger air transport, flying on domestic, transcontinental and transatlantic routes, while also being used in cargo and military roles. Its success helped solidify Boeing's position as a leading airliner manufacturer and paved the way for the company's legendary 7x7 series of aircraft. The 707 remained a staple in aviation through the 1970s, shaping the future of air travel. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird No reconnaissance aircraft in history has operated with more global reach, speed or near invulnerability than the SR-71 Blackbird, which also happens to be the fastest jet-propelled aircraft ever built. A pinnacle of Cold War aviation technology, the Blackbird took its first flight on December 22, 1964, and entered service in January 1966 with the U.S. Air Force's 9th Strategic Reconnaissance Wing at Beale Air Force Base. Designed to outrun threats rather than evade them, the SR-71 flew reconnaissance missions deep into hostile airspace with unmatched impunity. Throughout its nearly 24-year career, the SR-71 reigned as the world's fastest and highest flying operational aircraft. From an altitude of 80,000 feet, it could scan 100,000 square miles of terrain per hour. On July 28, 1976, it set two astonishing world records, achieving a blistering speed of 2,193 miles per hour, or Mach 3.3, and reaching an altitude of 85,069 feet. Despite its unmatched capabilities, the SR-71 was retired on January 26, 1990, due to budget constraints and high operational costs. Even decades later, no aircraft has fully replaced its legendary speed and reconnaissance prowess. Concorde The Concorde was a revolutionary leap in commercial aviation, becoming the world's first supersonic passenger airliner. 
For over 25 years, this sleek, high-speed marvel whisked thousands of travelers across the Atlantic at twice the speed of sound. Designed and built by Aerospatial of France and the British Aircraft Corporation, the Concorde was an engineering masterpiece that, despite its brilliance, struggled with economic challenges. Air France and British Airways launched Concorde service in 1976, offering an exclusive first-class experience for passengers who valued speed above all else. With a cruising speed of Mach 2, it could cross the Atlantic in under four hours, cutting conventional flight times in half. However, its deafening sonic boom, high fuel consumption, and steep operating costs led to ticket prices that only the elite could afford. As demand declined, routes were gradually reduced, and in 2003, the Concorde made its final flight. Though retired, the Concorde proved that supersonic passenger travel was possible, paving the way for the next generation of high-speed air travel and inspiring the future of aviation innovation. Boeing 747 The legendary Boeing 747, affectionately known as the Queen of the Skies, revolutionized air travel as the world's first twin-aisle airliner, with its iconic humpbacked design, the 747 became a symbol of engineering brilliance, making long-haul flights more accessible, efficient, and affordable for millions. First taking flight in 1969 after production began in 1967, the 747 quickly dominated global aviation. Over 1,574 of these four-engine giants were sold to more than 100 customers, accumulating an astonishing 118 million flight hours and nearly 23 million flight cycles. Initially powered by Pratt & Whitney JT 9D engines, later models featured General Electric CF6 and Rolls-Royce RB. 211 power plants, delivering the thrust needed for its Mach 0.85 cruise speed. Designed with a 10 abreast economy layout, the 747 typically carried 366 passengers across three classes. Its 37.5 degrees wing sweep enhanced aerodynamics, while its four main landing gear legs supported its massive weight. The partial double-deck design wasn't just for aesthetics. The raised cockpit allowed for a front cargo door, enabling easy conversion into a freighter. Initially, Boeing expected supersonic transports to replace the 747, but instead, this aviation icon remained in service for over five decades, shaping the future of air travel and cargo transport alike.